Everybody deserves a spa ritual. Whether we can afford it or not, we need that 10-15 minutes to ourselves to take care of our skin needs, away from the stress of our daily life and routine. Twice a month, I do a spa treatment at home with all affordable skin care and tools that give my skin the best results. I enjoy my day off doing practically nothing and that's what I love. I deserve that and you deserve it too. I usually start off my morning ritual with a good mild cleanser like this one which is my absolute favorite and it will be explained in detail in my high end skincare products. This is the Fresh Beauty Soy Cleanser. It's mild, gentle, takes off all the dirt buildup from the night before and it just is so gentle on my skin making it nice and soft and clean. I always cleanse my neck and face and gently pat dry. Before I get on to my next step which is so important if I'm doing a facial or spa. This is done twice a month and the rest of the skincare that I'm showing you in this video is done practically every day. I start off with the Good Sky's two best sellers, the Blackhead Remover Pore Vacuum and the Facial Steamer Nano Iconic which is a hot mist home face sauna. The Pore Vacuum is an absolute must for people who have got acne skin, acne scars, wrinkles or even someone who suffers from dry skin definitely needs a suction vacuum kind of a tool to remove all that debris from the skin. The Nano Steamer is also very important because it's so gentle and doesn't burn the skin like most facial steamer does. It has a 90 ml water tank and gives off a 20 minute steam cycle good enough to open that pose up for your clay mask. You absolutely need this. The clay mask is my trusted affordable one. The Aztec Indian Healing Mask is superb for acne prone skin. It goes hand in hand with apple cider vinegar to give the best results and benefits. It sucks out toxins from the pore and the importance of a clay mask, I cannot emphasize more on it. The apple cider vinegar brightens the complexion to even out your skin tone. Make sure it is organic apple cider vinegar and it is best with the mother. And no metal spoons over here please, it just becomes toxic. This powder deserves a wooden spoon or a spatula. Mix it to a smooth paste and it froths up because of the apple cider vinegar and the smell is unpleasant. I always apply this mask whenever I do a house spa treatment because it's very strong yet brilliantly effective. On application you will feel a pulsating heat as if the mask is alive. Before starting off with a good steam I always apply cold organic rose water on my skin. I spritz that and I start on with my clay mask. The gentle mist that comes out of this particular steamer is absolutely brilliant. That's the importance of a facial steamer. Good enough to open that pose up for your clay mask. You need this. It's light, travel friendly, budget friendly and just does the trick. I will be showing you my other favorite steamer in my high end skincare video. I also managed to get a discount code for all of you living in the UK. So please go to the info bar to check out all the details. I love to apply this in abundance all over my face, leaving out my eye area. Never apply a mask around the delicate area of your eye. Make sure you also apply the mask on your neck area. It is very important for you to take care of the neck zone because that is the first sign that it starts to show its age. I leave the mask on for around 5 minutes and then I like to take the nano steamer and further steam my face only because it opens up my pores even more allowing the mask to seep in and remove all that toxin even further. 
when the mask has completely dried off and it gives you almost like as if it's got cracks on your skin that's a sign for you to wash it off as soon as i wash off my skin i pat dry with a clean tissue and i love to spot steam around my chin and nose before the next step this makes the pores bigger and easier for me to target those blackheads and whiteheads the good sky blackhead remover pore vacuum is a winner for me it's a type of tool people who suffer from acne scars, blackhead, dead dry skin needs. With its forehead each targeting what your skin needs, I love the big hole round head which sucks out all the dead skin and blackheads. It also has a micro head and an elliptical head for wrinkles. This is a winner you guys. My second favorite tool is the blue ray head. The blue light controls and treats acne by reducing the swelling after the suction. It is great to calm that swelling and that acne. This tool is affordable yet easy to maintain and clean. With its three step adjustment one can play around with it depending on how sensitive your skin is. I like to always put it on first speed. If you have stubborn blackhead then put it on speed 3. But remember never to repeat it on the same spot over and again. This can cause the skin to bruise and swell and never run this over an active acne either. Another important step before oils and serum is to just tighten up those pores, close it up by applying an ice cube all over the face and a spritz of rose water. When it comes to serum and oils, I feel the best step is to start from the lightest to the thickest. My day is incomplete without a hyaluronic acid and as soon as I spritz my organic rose water yet again, I apply my hyaluronic acid. It plumps up my complexion and helps me age slowly. This is an absolute must my friend, morning or evening. Whether I'm doing an in-house spa treatment or my everyday morning ritual, this is always applied after my face wash. I also love a good sheet mask and you can apply any that you fancy but I love stocking up on compressed sheet mask. This way I can make a natural glowy mask that is totally free from chemicals and also hydrates and brightens my complexion. I add ingredients like tomato juice, sweet almond oil, rose water and glycerin and allow the mask to soak it all in. Sometimes I add rice water to it as well. Then I apply it to my face for 15 minutes and this is the time I catch up on what I like to do. Whether it's sipping on tea, watching TV, reading, cleaning, doing the bed, whatever that I fancy. This is also the time as you can see I clean out the tool and it's so simple you guys. All you need to do is dispose that sponge that has soaked in all the debris and put in a new one. The last three steps I finish it off by running an ice cube to close all the pores and tighten the skin before I start off with my potent vitamin C. If you watched my previous video you would know how important vitamin C is. It's great for skin rejuvenation, great for hyperpigmentation, acne, acne scars and wrinkles. This is a wonder skincare product like the hyaluronic acid. Lastly, whatever I'm doing in the house or outside, I always finish my skincare ritual with a sunscreen. And SPF 50 plus is an absolute must. This one is from the Inky list again and it is my favorite sunscreen because it's got zinc infused in it. It manages to improve my complexion while giving the protection that I need. Plus no white cast. I couldn't have asked for a better sunscreen. Always finish your skincare ritual with a good lip balm and I love this one from Forest Essential. This is the Kerala Lime Glaze which not only hydrates my lips but also gives a wet gloss kind of an appeal. There you have it. A baby soft clean glowy skin fit enough for even this acne prone girl. I think we all deserve this time out don't we?